G'day everybody, Tom Gillespie, producer at the Fake Fluencer Film. Get your premiere ticket at fakefluencerfilm.com forward slash free ticket. Film's coming 2nd of April 2021. But listen, I've got a few things I want to update you guys on while I sit here in this post-production phase. Looking back, when I first started with this journey, investigating Batman 360 in late 2019, I was fucking angry. I was pissed off. I'd been hoodwinked by a kid on the other side of the planet and I just couldn't get it out of my head. What are you doing? Get off. How did this little shit bag on the other side of the bloody planet... I mean, he couldn't have done it on his own. He's too stupid. And at that time, I had, you know, ambitions to pivot my currency trading career into a TV personality. And I had some contacts at 60 Minutes, like Tara, Leslie. So I decided to go ahead and see what it what it would take to, to make a film for 60 Minutes. And it's been an uphill battle with them cunts, to be honest. The execs don't think cryptocurrency is a hot topic anymore. They're inundated with scams from regular banking, which apparently the audience relates better with. But as I sit here, I received some bad news and they're no longer going to support the project and suggest I find financing elsewhere. Now, that's obviously thrown a fucking big spanner in the works as I'm only halfway through post-producing the bloody film and it's, you know, it's starting to look really bloody intriguing. I think it's going to be a, a wonderful documentary. And while I'm in this phase, I noticed, you know, I think I'm good with people. But after investigating and going through all this footage, I've realized most people are self-absorbed fuckwits. Crypto people are even worse. And if you marry influencers in crypto, well, you've got a recipe for some really pretty horrible types of persons. Of course, it's nothing like my my previous career. We never ripped anybody off. We certainly didn't influence them to buying buying shit bag coins, penny stocks, and what have you. Not in public, at least. So, some bad news in, which kind of slows things down a little. But I'm determined to continue. I will have to sell finance until we figure it out. And, you know, I'm starting to notice some similarities between crypto tokens and penny stocks, of course, undeniable. And they both trade for peanuts and they're both typically equally of little value. But at least with penny stocks, we don't trumpet decentralization. I mean, I can't understand how these people uh, in the industry talk about running companies, crypto companies, and claim to be decentralized. I mean, the money has to flow somewhere centralized, doesn't it? Someone needs to explain that to me because I can't, I sure as shit can't get my head around it. Anyway, Tom Gillespie, again, thank you for subscribing and stay tuned.